hi guys so as far as we have already uh, get familiar with the uh, with the task one okay uh, the test case one let me go to the towards uh, uh, test case two <coughs> here we have a, a situation where uh, in a single cell you have a multiple fields like uh, transaction ID payment ID transaction date and all and customer type so our task is to uh, first of all uh, take out the transaction IDs uh, from the or transaction date or customer type anything okay so I'll just show you here how to take out transaction ID or but before uh, take out the transaction ID I have to tell you some of the formulas which I use uh, to get this results you must know uh, these formulas okay so I'm going to show you first one which is left <coughs> in left formula you have to uh, select this name and uh, let's say I want from the back five characters okay and let me show you again it's a left function okay here I select my test text and I want five character from the starting point so I enter the number of characters entered and I press enter okay and second formula is write function it is quite similar to this uh, and I choose this and again from the right hand side I want five character <coughs> it will get the result okay and mid I also want one from the mid how many character uh, here is my text starting character from one and I want at least uh, five characters will I, do I get my result <coughs> I didn't get so instead of one I have to I mention six one two three four five at least five and from here I need ten character but to reduce like just five six okay here's anything and fine what will do it will simply give me the yeah I want to find the uh, like on which place the small n if you see here small n okay and I start the number which is from one so I get the position of the fine and uh, LAN LAN function is the function which will tell you the number of characters <coughs> okay guys so it's a very basic approach uh, just think for a while if the first name uh, I need first uh, like uh, five character from the front if I say uh, Rajiv Kumar Singh look this format doesn't change it's showing only Rajiv okay because my first name becomes Rajiv Kumar not Rajiv okay so this is my first name and this is our uh, first approach first which is called a very beginner very basic okay like you just know just for the uh, just for the sake you know formulas okay now let me s let me show you the another the second approach second approach what will you do it's um, you have to simply uh, uh <coughs> enter the formula left function and I'm going to select this uh, let me first change the name okay let me see simply you have to select this formula and you have to simply go and select the test and here in the number of character I have choose land function land function guys why do I choose land function because in my total character if I count my total character including space like uh, if you see 5 and 5 10 and plus 1 11 so I have 11 characters in 11 characters if I remove the first if I remove the remove the uh, uh, remove the uh, characters after space <coughs> okay so what 
uh, what will remain the remaining character r a g i v the first one okay and you have to select i uh, select it from the one from uh, where you want the character needs to be uh, display from from the first character okay so the from from a uh, space to till the end this this uh, this particular part is removed from my total formula okay here i close it <coughs> and similar thing we are, going, we are going to apply in write function in write function what you have to do you have to simply go and select this formula ap apply uh, your find function only not find the line function select the line functions <coughs> go close the bracket and apply find function because where i want i want uh, like uh, if you see the prakash p r a k s h h prakash and after this as so it will go backwards in a similar manner <coughs> you know what is the reason i didn't apply the this here is a black bracket which means the formula is completely correct here is a mid function in mid function function what we want we want a uh, nitin which is a uh, neel nitin mukesh is a complete name so i want the between character so i apply mid function and i choose this and uh start the number in uh, where start the number it is fine here i have to apply the find function i put the space because the first space after first space i want all the character so it will by default it will assume he needs from the first space okay hmm. how many characters i want i want only five characters so let me see uh okay here what we do press 1 because it's a space also counted so we just add it so once you press plus 1 here so it will become 6 and find function you already know i'll show you show you how to use find function above so no need to explain this thing yeah the length function which you already know we just simply select it and just get the number of characters <coughs> guys see one thing he is rajiv kumar if i make it uh, in here i change like prakash p r k a s h prakash singh badal look singh badal is a backward is showing very clearly okay and if i say here rajiv kumar singh so so it this my, my first name become rajiv kumar and here is showing my backwards name okay so that's how uh, all these functions <coughs> i hope you are aware with the, with these functions and one thing which i like to tell you like uh, find is the only function which works in case sensitive okay which is a very case sensitive function so guys with the help of these formulas we are going to take out the transaction ids from our <coughs> from 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 our uh, from from the cells okay or payment id or anything you can whatever you want according to your requirement okay <coughs> in this transaction date customer type anything okay so here i am going to show you uh, transaction ids <coughs> first let me put the formula which i require i feel it is appropriate from here so let me show you first go to the, the formula i simply after the space i select the whole uh, complete bunch okay i select the complete bunch i selected and here i go and apply mid function here is my text start the number in starting number i have to apply find function where where does uh, my because my after the after the transaction id my payment id is also uh, my transaction id is there so i have to put the double quotes okay and make it <coughs> within the text here is a text starting number mm, i want after the space starting number you can say 1 and 
why am I adding plus one because after the space my character needs to be started okay and how many characters I want I want at least uh, how uh, how many characters I, ha I do have a uh, matrix ID it's one two three four five six so I must make it six let me see what we get I'm getting <coughs> RESIC ID uh, will it write mm, no it won't be right at all let me try again <coughs> hmm. here is like the formula here apply find function here I give the space and I need the <coughs> here is a text hmm. I want one and number of letter which I want is 10 let's say it make it 10 I get transaction equally you have to let me change the id if I make it tell id <coughs> yeah here I get the ids ID which is uh, and if I instead of simply ID if I press this this is what I get and if I reduce this space here is my ID guys okay so in in my in my ID I have what we have to do we have to apply uh, like it's one two three four five six it's from uh, whether you take from backwards or inwards in any other side you can take it let me show you left <coughs> mm, let me take from right from the right I required uh, I think seven character because already a uh, which is a coma coma is also there in the here make it eight Hmm. Here get your characters. Okay. After that, I apply left, or instead of left, I can make it minus one. Not having. <coughs> it's not working. Let me try all the ways. Yeah, mm, think that's quite suitable. From the right, it's giving me one, two, three, four, six. Let me try apply right again. Need six characters. Here I get. So guys, you have seen how I uh, get this all the result within a it takes little time but I simply get it okay so guys uh, as far as now uh, we have already seen one method uh, this is approach one in that uh, we tackle this uh, problem from this uh, particular particular uh, particular cell or particular string we have to fetch it out the particular uh, we have to fetch it out the particular uh, piece of string from it okay so let me uh, this time uh, earlier we have to take just a uh, transition id this time we take uh, some other part of string let's say i want payment id okay payment id from the uh, from this piece of string <coughs> payment id okay and let me apply the same the mid function here is our text and I'm going to apply the find function to get uh, to search a particular piece of string and where's uh, within this text and I want to find some character number one and how many character I want that's it and <coughs> this time if I enter it's just showing me the payment ID which is around uh, 8 to 10 characters almost okay but 
if I have to go ahead from it, let's say uh, 20 character. If I do it 20 minus 10, it any effect? No, still I get the same thing. Okay. If I do minus 20 plus 10, does it any effect? Not at all. Okay, this kind of a thing will not allow. Here. Yeah. So let me simply go and apply 20 characters. In 20 characters, our payment ID is reflected very easily. If I drag the same, you can see my payment ID is reflected very easily. So <coughs> this time we get our payment ID. Payment ID is its own. It's uh, its own uh, right hand side. Okay. So what I do? I simply apply the write function. <coughs> In right, I have to supply uh, the text has already been supplied from where I want. I want simply uh, let's say a character. What does it show? Yes, our desired result will get it very easily. And but uh, you, if you see the comma is also there in between. So if I make it uh, from a total string, if I make it instead of seven, does it any change? No, it will not change at all. So instead of uh, uh, right hand side and the character is also on left hand side. So this time I'm going to apply the right, uh, left function left function from here I again select 8 characters ok sorry I have to use I have to supply 7 character to the function so guys this is also the way to uh, get the payment id from uh, fr from a particular piece of string and this time we have seen the right right plus mid and find this time we have seen left right mid and find this way you can build your uh, logic really really strong and now let's uh, jump on another problem we are going to use the index match function just think for a while this is my transaction id if i wanted to uh, need my customer uh, uh, out a uh, customer mobile number here <coughs> in this table so do i get it let me show you index here I go match and I'm going to match with my <coughs> match function you already know So guys, according to uh, these three, if I am going to check this, whether this transaction IDs are there in this table. So let me check. It's not fun. That it means it's not available in this uh, table. So that's why it's not show their mobile number. And uh, in case if you don't want to show this uh, any any error, then you can apply, go here and apply if any <coughs> if any function and go in a loss and apply this simply bracket so we can remove all this you do if you want to show the or what is error here and there or instead of the human show something else like some one double dot or one dot you can show it like this like that's how you can show so guys uh, this is a tutorial in which I uh, give you the overview when you go in a real time uh, MIS uh, interview then this kind of situation you may face so guys uh, thank you so much I hope it will help you to make you ahead in your career thank you so much